Hey, show him I keep shallow warm. Let us know how the volume sound. Let me get in the middle. I, can see I got the mic on me. Uh, then you think this is too damn close? <laughs> Check it out if you could. Probably sound like I'm fucking like head first into the mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, uh. Probably, yeah, belt, huh? Tell them, brothers, waiting for the brother. When the brother come, we had a stick. But, um. Yeah, it sounds good. Right? Sound better? Okay. Yeah. Hey, but with that being said, hey, Yabba Shimon Shah Barak, a thumb to the household of faith out there. You little amount of brothers. I mean, I'm sorry. You brothers out there and you little amount of sisters. Before us brothers start, though, we want to give all praises to the creator of the heavens and the earth. Yahweh, Bashim, Yabba Shah, Bashim, Rakakwadash. What you are this brother and speak right now? The brother just pulled up. Kind, kind, yeah. What you heard this brother and speak right now is the Paleo Hebrew, and we said the Heavenly Father's name, which is Yahweh, and his beloved son name is Yahweh Shai. Uh, the Hawa Kakwadash is the Holy Spirit that we come in that teaches us the truth and um, guide us in our everyday life to do that which is right. Double on to the elder apostles. It's not the best. You got the little clamp back in? <clears throat> All right, double on to the elder apostles of the great millstone, the elder bishops, and peace and mercy once again to the household of faith. But, um, yeah, just probably the other way so it won't be, uh, like, uh, all visible and shit. All right, uh, Great Millstone, Los Angeles, back out here another Saturday to prophesy and to wake up the, 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 the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai of the Negro, Latino, and Native American and to preach the downfall of America and to expose Esau Edom. Who is Esau Edom? That's a self-proclaimed white man. To expose his evil plans in his last days and to preach salvation to these people on this sign. All right, if you are of Negro, Latino, and Native American descent, salvation is actually opened up onto you and you only. All right, but there's an elect amongst these people that's only going to get this uh, this truth or get this understanding, and that's what we out here to do. We out here to, through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Shemel Shai, to give the understanding of these scriptures. All right, and uh, like we always go into the prophecies, man. The prophecies are here and they're jumping off the biblical pages. That's right. All right. Uh, the election is what two weeks less than two weeks away you know what i'm saying and everybody's eyes is basically focused on who's going to be the next person up in there well really in all actuality it doesn't matter who's going to go who's going to be up in there because the words of the heavenly father going to take place whether kamala harris is in there or donald trump is in there but see under both administrations they both have the same plans even though they're they're playing like they're opposite of one another or like they uh, don't agree what what it is that they're they're they, they're campaigning. No, at the end of the day, they want to establish a new world order. They want to microchip microchip everybody with the radio frequency identification. All right, and they want to subject the world uh, um, under the, the the guides of Satan and complete control. All right, and it's all prophesied in this Bible. Matter of fact, we can start at, um, what, you got some? Yeah, I got some. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 42, verse 9. It says, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. What we tell, what, what we do through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai is that um, we give the message of the Lord. That's what the prophet does. They say, 
what's going to happen before it happens but it's under the authority and the the the, the heavenly father sending us so the things that the lord wrote wrote about that was supposed to come to pass before today it, it's 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 came to pass and there's new things that the heavenly father is going to get ready to do and that's been in, in one of those the major thing is uh to destroy america and to take down this self-proclaimed white man and his power structure right. see the new world order is based around esau edom trying to further his power power structure yes. but it was psalms 49 and 11. Yeah. that's what the new world order is about it's about this devil trying to revamp or refresh his uh his power structure yeah, you know a pseudo kingdom with a pseudo kingdom you know what i'm saying and uh just this week uh matter of fact you lot if you could pull that up because it's a quick clip donald trump saying that um shabai shared it donald trump saying that there, there's prophets out there that's prophesying uh that the end of the world is going to happen over there in the middle east he said it just like that in world war three on the joe rogan show that he just went on what a couple of days ago yesterday yesterday friday. friday so they know they know the prophets who the prophets are because who the hell else what else, what other faction of religion is talking about the end of the world is going to happen uh dealing with world war three except for the hebrew israelites mm -hmm. so he he knows that we the prophets yep. yeah go ahead Ak. oh you know what bro you probably oh you know you go ahead you go ahead and they go uh yeah you gotta put it right here you gotta put it right here yeah yeah, yeah. It's just you you could you could you yeah, you listen to it that, right? and we have weapons today that are so there it's a very the middle east is rapidly changing you know there are prophets that say the world will come to an end in the middle east you know that, right? <laughs> and we have weapons today that are so scary when you look I rebuilt them all, and when you what look at the weapons we have today, the biggest threat we have in the world today is nuclear weapons. And we have other weapons too that are devastating, but the nuclear weapons, the biggest threat we have in the world today, and that's what you... I was talking about de-escalation with both China and Russia. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So there it go, man. The, the, the Edomite, the elites of them, they know exactly who we are, and they know the message that we push them. And they know the, the, the prophecies of this book. They knew it before we did. And it, and it goes to show you that they watch it. They, they watch, watch it. it. You know? They're watching. Right. And that's why that dude Trump already got task forces ready to come up against the truth. He already got, or not even just Trump, it don't matter if it's Trump or Kamala, whoever it is. Yeah, the task forces for both parties, you know? They was even explaining that in the uh, podcast. They they ran a clip with Kamala Harris explaining how we need to uh, bring a censorship to the internet. Mm -hmm. They even was going in on to that because both parties want to uh, cause out uh, free speech, basically. Right. You know. Because that was the ultimate goal of that is to shut up the truth. Because who gives a damn about some weirdo on the internet talking about uh, uh, women on the women don't know how to treat men. And, and, and another thing too, they're gonna uh, ban TikTok come January 19th. Mm -hmm. You know, so, the, hey man, get it while you can. You know, the information is already out there. So, and, and TikTok was a major uh, platform that, that lifted the truth further. And yeah. also other information that was spread through TikTok. Yeah. That's why they wanna, uh, uh, that, that's why they gonna ban uh, TikTok uh, right. come uh, next, uh, next year, 90 days from now. Right, you, know? you on point, bro, because the food industry got exposed heavy. Mm -hmm. All right, what they're actually the government documents got exposed heavy through TikTok, yeah. and then every every type of um, a uh, harp, DARPA machine that's every time they use it, TikTok already on it. Yeah, they own it first. Yeah. So TikTok, they they get they trying to eliminate that, and 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 the main thing they trying to eliminate is the, the hearing of this Bible, man. Yeah, TikTok is a means for the people to communicate yeah, you know, right. in, a, in a very fast manner. Yeah. You know? yeah. And they try to blame it. You know, they try to say it's about uh, the, the the finances on TikTok. They're not getting a cut 
It may be a part of that, yeah, that but too, that, 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 ain't, that, that, that ain't the main thing, yeah. though. And the TikTok show people how to make money. Yeah. Right. You know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But the main thing is the hearing of this work. The hearing of what it is, is it's exposing Esau. That's what it is. This guy, this guy is trying to, he's the devil. He's trying to hide that he's the devil. Right. He's uh, losing the information. Right, right. Before we jump there, let's jump back to the Isaiah. Did you have something today, y'all? Yes, sir. No, go ahead. You're okay. good, bro. I, I, got a, I got a precept okay. on how you said how Trump and the elite said that there are prophets that say the end of the world is going to end uh, through the Middle East. That's wisdom of Solomon in the second chapter. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because they know that us to us, even though they didn't, he didn't specify who those prophets are, but we're the only ones that's saying that. Yeah. We're the only ones that's saying that this war that's going on, like you had uh, Iran uh, uh, start hit yesterday. They started to attack uh, military targets, uh, not Iran, Israel. Israel. They started to attack military targets over there in uh, Iran. Iran. Yeah. Different spots of Tehran. Yeah, Tehran. All right. So that's a part of biblical prophecy. Oh, yeah. Biblical prophecy. Oh yeah. Because by them doing that, with America even telling them, "Hey, you need to pipe down." Mm -hmm. They've been telling them to pipe down, even with Gaza. Y'all yeah. doing too much. Y'all, you know, killing kids. Y'all destroying hospitals. Y'all need to pipe down. Even though the, all the UN is telling them to pipe down. Yeah. But they ain't gonna pipe down because the Most High got the uh, spirit on them so that his word can come to pass, right. all right? Yeah, them small hats got, they over there saying that uh, they're killing the children and all of that because them children will grow up to harm them. So they have the right to destroy those children. <laughs> Which, that's war. Yeah, yeah you know, that's war. And they're using the Bible, you know, too, as a disguise for it, you know, to, to create this genocide, yeah. you know, because what the scriptures say, uh, abolish Amalek, uh, there's uh, how's it written? Uh, there shall be no more remaining. Yeah, there shall be no more remaining of the house of Amalek. They they actually use that scripture to justify killing those Palestinians over there. It's just crazy, you know? right? They use that shit, man. But they don't even believe in the scriptures. You know what I mean? You know? They they you that's the devil. They use it for their convenience. Yeah. For their own political. That's why. The, that's why the Lord said, "What has thou to do to declare my statutes?" statutes. Seeing that, because, okay, you're using that scripture, but what about the rest of the scriptures? Yeah. All right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. well, let me yeah, yeah. read this real quick. This is the thoughts of the wicked. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 12. Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous, because he is not of our turn, mm. and he is clean contrary to our doings. And, and the righteous is these people, you know? And, but, but there's a, a, a special group of these people that know the Lord woke him up to know what's going on. The elect. The elect. Yeah. You know? Everybody else is under the spell of Esau. Yeah. It don't matter if you, you claiming I'm woke, I'm, I'm voting for Trump. Guess what? You under the spell. Yeah. If you ain't calling on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in hopes that this place is being destroyed and Yahweh Shai returning, all right, you are still asleep. Right. All right? Mm -hmm. It says, uh, and he is he, he is uh clean contrary to our doings he abraded us with our offending the law and objective to our infamy the transgressions of our education yeah yeah because that's what we do we upbraid him if you upbraid somebody basically you're coming against them or speaking ill towards yeah, them you're cussing them out you're cussing them out that's exactly what we do Starting with the Apostles of Great Millstone. The Apostle Tarbin, for the past couple of days, been going in on how everything that's made in America has been coming from China. Yeah. Everything made in America has been coming from China. And Trump is full of shit talking about tears. If he was really about it, he would put a higher percentage than 100% tariff. Yeah. But it's all about, it's all a goddamn, it's all a goddamn joke. It's all of a, 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 a game because Every, the heathen are in cahoots with each other according to Psalms 83 and yep. according to Psalms the second chapter. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. Yeah. That's right, man. It says, why did the, in Psalms the second chapter, it says, why did the heathen rage and imagine a vain thing? That vain thing is, is, is establishing a new world order. That's right. And the Apostle Tarb, we was listening to it, a little bit of it coming up. 
he was he was saying that you know from his opinion that the the micro c hip may be first pushed in china first before it comes to this way yeah because klaus Schwab said that he said china is a a, a model for the world yeah their infrastructure yeah which is a, a total digital infrastructure if you notice if you look at the technology that's being displayed over in china and then you come over here to the west they just built these uh new stadiums in la right yeah you got the new uh into it stadium that they're just for the clippers and you got the uh the new uh the sofa stadium which is for the rams now when you look at those stadiums they have a futuristic look to them they don't look like the average dome uh uh you know like if you go to the the, the, the great western forum yeah if you go to uh the coliseum they don't look like that no more they don't they they look more futuristic just like china just like japan yeah all right and then those facilities they're all digital they're cashless all right the uh the Clipper Stadium, the Intua Stadium, everything in there is digital. You know what I'm saying? You can't go in there and buy nothing with cash. Right, right. All right? Everything is digital. So you know they already have the, the facial recognition and all that going on oh, in yeah. there, man. Yeah. Matter of fact, I think to get in there, or, or, or was it the Madison Square Garden? It was one stadium. They were... uh. Facial recognition. facial recognition for you to get in the game. I know yeah. they, they got that with NFL. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And they completely cashless too. And and that's all you see on these commercials. Like this is the most TV I've been watching since <laughs> I came into the knowledge. But I only watch Sports Center, you know, CNN and shit like that. But every commercial that comes on is is it's a commercial gearing you up to this digital world that they that they're building right in front of your face. Yep. Yeah. Every commercial, man. It's about digital digitalizing everything. Yeah. yeah. All right. Didn't right. they uh, change the uh, what was the name of the uh, Staples Center to crypto? The crypto, crypto arena. Crypto arena. Yeah. And then they got that holographic, that holographic floor. They be doing all type of hologram. Yeah. On the floor. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got that one new thing in Inglewood, what they call it, the dome. The dome. Yeah, that dome thing. That which is which yeah. is a digital. It's like a digital. Uh, like the screen like them like them hold them glasses Spears, that yeah, they right. put on they got one in vegas too yeah, yeah. it's the, uh the ball or something like that yeah, yeah. it's bigger in yeah vegas. it's bigger in vegas the sphere the sphere yeah. with some glad and virtual glasses oh yeah google, uh, google that's uh, what the dome is yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. it's like a big ass everybody sitting in there right. and everybody looking through which is not actual glasses but the screen yeah is like you at a you you at wherever they display there man right. yeah you know just yeah. like those uh uh virtual glasses yeah so so it's it's being built right <laughs> right in front of everybody's face right it's here you know what i'm saying yeah. it's, been, it's being built right in front of everybody's face man yeah. you know mm -hmm. uh oh yeah uh uh, uh face, facebook just uh announced some new glasses that they got and some uh y'all didn't hear about those glasses yeah, uh you talking about they was on the stage and they were showing them yeah yeah uh, mark they, zuckerberg. yeah mark zuckerberg yeah mark zuckerberg yeah 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 is that google pixels they some smart glasses yeah smart Maybe glasses yeah. yeah and i know i know apple is about to discontinue one of them motherfuckers because they not selling but shit, they they gonna push this shit, man you know but i forgot the name of the uh the product they gonna discontinue but that's besides the point yeah, but the point here, man. The point yeah. is, the, the, it's already here. Yeah, yeah. for sure. You ain't finna stop the uh, infrastructure. That's why they, the major cities is where they putting the brand new technology because this is where they gonna have these fifteen minute cities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, this matter is fact, where they gonna have it. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, those what those glasses do, when you walk in, it it'll, it'll bring up the person, their name. Their their uh, oh yeah their right phone number you know exactly their, who their address you're looking that at. shit is crazy bro to bring up their whole information of who what they the are fuck? yeah that was on uh, remember it was on the Black Mirror um yeah was it was called Nosedive on Black Mirror yeah it was on Black Mirror that's some video game type shit mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying you that's know you playing Grand Theft Auto you walk up to the motherfucker yeah he, and the little thing pop up <laughs> yeah tell you yeah you, know? yeah. you got to personally send in a, a, a form. To, or sign in the form saying that you don't want your information information out there yeah. like that. 
this, this place is done, man. You think but the Lord gonna allow this? Man. It's like, uh, you know, <laughs> You like think the Lord gonna allow this? Go ahead. I remember they have now uh, allowed the first two asleep people to share drinks. Oh yeah, I seen that. I seen that too. Oh, yeah. China came Sharing up with dreams. a new thing where they could see your dreams, man. Yeah. They they got a new uh, system, a new uh, 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 what do you call it? Computer system yeah. that you get hooked up with, get hooked up to, and they can see your fucking dreams, man. That's that same. Was that the video of the brother sent where? The, the actual thing that's hooked up to the person, it can see what the person is actually thinking and, and, and print it and make a, 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 a uh, actual picture of what that person yeah, is yeah, thinking. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah so, so, yeah. so. Same technology. That technology is here, man. Yeah, it's here, bro. That's what you said. That movie, remember that movie I told y'all to check out? Where they where they put on this fucking yeah, these things. Yeah, uh, uh, it's called, uh, not Paracel, or... And, and then they, can, they they actually, inside of the person's head, they, they feeling like they're them. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's like Para, it's just someone started to pee, right? Uh, I, I find I it right with now. With that white, with the white chick. The old girl, old white girl from the show Star. Way, from Fifth Wave, right? Uh, Into a dome? Uh, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. not that one. It's, it's like a chick uh, from, shit. Uh, I'll show you. Yeah, they yeah that into it. That's it's a it's a cold ass stadium, but that yeah. shit is that's it's it's gonna be destroyed. They yeah. shall build, but I will throw yeah. down. Yeah, that's right. Though. Yo, it's a it's a future. Yeah. Like if you look at the aerial view, it don't look like the normal circle stadiums. Right. Right. That shit is futuristic looking. Look like some shit in China or Japan, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, those major cities there. See all the major cities throughout Babylon, like Florida, right? They still recovering from Haleen, but uh, Tampa, that area of Tampa, they trying to, they, that's that's targeted for a 15 minute city. Right. Yeah. So in order for them to do that, that mean they gotta destroy shit. Right. You know? Yeah. The movie is called, It's What's Inside. Oh, that's that's inside. Right. It's What's Inside. It's a, uh, you know, a good flick mm -hmm. on Netflix, yeah. But go ahead, you said you had that for the, uh, yeah, it was killing is, uh, her, making her hands. This is the new dome the brother was talking about. Uh, it's called Game Face ID. It says voluntary, but we already know that's not it's not voluntary. It says face recognition technology that allows fans to enter the arena, shop, and receive other perks. That's that's normal in China. In China, that's the norm. In uh, everyday society, when you walk into a store, the cameras are already reading who you, are. who you are, and they you know what I'm saying they know exactly what you be wanting and all that, man. What is it, uh, a social credit score that yeah. they have over there? Hey, that China. was on Minority Report. Was that yeah. Minority Report? And it was yeah, in uh, yeah. Black Mirror, man. Mm -hmm. Tom Cruise, he went up in the thing. Hi, woo 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 woo. Yaki Moto. Yeah. You know, your eyes and your facial structure, it, it picks it up and know who you are, what you like, what when you go in the store, what you normally get. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then when you pick it up, you ain't gotta fucking wait at the at the, at the uh, machine for a teller. It deducts it, it automatically. It just walk right out with it. It deducts it automatically. So we already in the the the, the, the beginning uh, phases of the new world order. Right, right. It says fans can use their face to access the arena without having to scan their tickets. Man, <laughs> see. And when they sit down, they can interact with the with the score with the uh the, the score. But see, the scoreboard ain't like it used to be. One big shit in the uh thing it's a big ass screen that go around yeah you know what i'm saying because you think about it you already got it on your phone you got it on your phone your facial thing you know instead of putting in your little code all you got to do is take your apple phone and and, 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 and do like that and it just open up for you so they just using that system on steroids yeah yeah which that was all preparation for where we at now mm -hmm. or where he wants it to go yeah, that's right. why that was the reason of these apps getting your face mm -hmm. and, 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 and do this put your face on it so you know all these different apps with the filters with and the all filters that. and shit that make your face look green or make you look like an avatar or you know what i'm saying that's to get your your face Man, yeah, yeah, that was and, all the setup, and and that's they can put your face on anybody else, yeah, yeah. They, that's exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm they be doing that. I don't, I don't do that, shit, I don't do that either. Yeah. But remember, even in order to, uh, to access those apps, you have to allow them to get all in your pictures, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah right. access your camera, your phone, your contacts, so they know who your family is, they know who you link to. They, they tell yeah. you, uh, 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 can we track you? 
can this app track you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you gotta you gotta tell the damn thing, tell the app not to track you. What? You know what I'm saying? Right. You gotta ask app not to track. What you mean? You know? But this is where we are, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then you got chat GBT. That's an AI system right there to where you could tell that system anything. You could tell them to draw you a, a, a man in a, a chariot shooting laser beams at America and it's going toop, 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 boom. Within seconds, it'll have a picture for you right there or create a, 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 a mini book for you, man. Yeah. Literally in seconds, it'll, it'll, it'll write it out right there. You just gotta be detailed in what what you want, right. and it'll let you be like, what the? And that shit sound like somebody spent time on that shit, man. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. It's a little more. It says, yeah, go ahead. It says, Game Face ID also allows fans to attach a payment method to their profile, you know? So it's, it's everything is connected, man. Yeah, but you, right now, you will connect your debit card. Right. But later, it will be your, uh, It'll be your micro C hip. Yep, which will be Internet of Bodies. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everything will be connected. This is what all them futuristic movies is about. We actually here, man, living the shit. Uh, you know? know he gonna be destroyed. They got in that show, uh, Three Body Problems. I don't oh, know if yeah, y'all yeah, seen yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They, uh, basically, a big old chariot came and it blocked out the whole sky. You know what I'm saying? And the, the, the so-called alien on there was called Lord. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they was all out looking. You know what I'm saying? It's just huge chariot just covered the sky and they coming out with a part two of it. You know what I'm saying? But they was using this, uh, they was using this virtual thing that they put on their head and when they get inside of it, they actually living, they actually doing real shit. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever they going through, they they come out and have really experienced that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that now that they're out of the Facebook guy in there, you can sell, you can have a job, you can marry, have real estate already in that world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what they yeah, call the, that metaverse. 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 the metaverse. Yeah, the metaverse. <laughs> yeah, that shit look creepy, man. It's crazy. And you see what uh, this week the article came out with the. That little teenager killed himself because he went, he fell in yeah. love with the AI machine. Yeah. The chat wow. AI bot, he, the, the bot told him to come to where he was at and he ended up taking his life. Uh, taking his life. Bro. That damn thing is a demon. I forgot. That's who, all it is, bro. That I forgot who said it. We, uh, we're, Elon uh, Musk. Uh, he said it right. Yeah, yeah. Elon we're, said we're that. A demon yeah. or he like said, that. We summoning yeah. the demon yeah. with AI. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. all it is, yeah. man. Yeah. How you think it's able to access information? That's the Heavenly Father allowing a, a spirit to do that. What does yeah. the word demon mean? It means intelligence. intelligence. It has yeah. an intel. There was a, a website before I came into the truth. I, I'm sure I, I told a few brothers about it, but there was a website a website called Peter's Answers. Yeah, yeah. Ask Peter. Oh, yeah. Ask Peter. Yeah. I remember that, bro. But yeah. that shit literally... Uh, it, it, it it's was a, a demon. demon. It it's was really a demon. A demon. It's like that shit bro. explained to you what you was wearing. Uh, that shit, uh, the spirit, I was playing a video game, one of my friends in the world, he was asking me questions, I hopped off the shit, because it was describing everything I was wearing, <laughs> I was getting spooked out, so I hopped on the uh, UFC game, was playing, and then as my friend in the world was playing, uh, asking the dude questions, he said, hey, tell your friend over there, he's going to lose in that game over there, Stop. I start getting my ass whooped, no <laughs> lie, I can't, no fucking lie, I'm like, what the fuck, and I, and I just yeah. start feeling fidgety, I didn't even want to be in the house no more, man. Yeah, cause you get you know, that's a portal. Yeah, it, that shit is real. Them, them spirits, man, is real, man. Oh, I'm a, uh, yeah. yeah, you know. Remember that CERN thing that they did, man. They've they conjured some that, damn yeah. demons. They've yeah. been dealing with that, you know. But they ain't saying nothing else about it. Right. They've been uh, got that motherfucker running. You know. They've been. When did they start it running? Started up, uh, uh, emptied up in 2023 or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, that's what know? they just what they yeah, told us, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Can I get this real quick? Yeah. Deuteronomy 18 and 10. It says, There should not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that useth divination mm. or an observer of times. That's basically what AI is. That's what it is. It's yeah. divination. An yeah. observer of time. That's why people be Alexa. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Asking Alexa about future things and shit like that, man. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. That's divination. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. It says, or enchantments or I ain't got that shit in my house, man. 
Yeah, me either, bro. I, I don't use that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's bad enough to know that all your technology is listening to you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It says, or a charmer, or a counselor with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. And yeah. people are now using it to talk to the damn dead. Yeah. They, 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 um, uh, oh. to talk to their dead relatives, bro. Yeah. They can make their AI sound like their dead relatives. Right. And yeah. look, yeah. And they have the, all they need is a picture. Mm -hmm. Picture in their voice. Yeah. And, and then gone. next thing you know, they're having a conversation with their dead mother. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, it's, a, it's a show called Evil. And they have an episode dealing with that, and it's, it's a demon. When you watch the show Evil, it's based around everyday common problems, but showing you the left hand side of how the left hand is making it happen. And on the show, they have the uh, they have when the people are talking to the dead, and what the AI is doing is it's going through all the information that that person had put on the internet prior and using it to talk to to reason with whoever it is that. Oh, we got some Jesus. Talking. You know? Yeah. Nah, that's fine. Oh, that's cool. They tell the taco. Uh, Don't worry about it. But, um... Man. It's a lot. But, uh, I didn't mean to nah, 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 that's cool. Yeah, uh, I know more because I was reading that. Get back to that. God yeah, yeah. God. All right, man. How you doing? God bless you. All right, now. Uh, going back to Wisdom of Solomon in the second chapter, going back to the mind of Esau, and they know... Excuse me. <laughs> They know, they know that we're, uh, that the prophets are back on the earth. Right. All right. And this is the proof right here. Verse 13, he professeth to have the knowledge of God and calleth himself the child of the Lord. He was made to reprove our thoughts. He is grievous unto us even to behold. Mm. For his life is not like other men's, his ways are of another fashion because the prophets lives are not like other men right. because the prophets are not politically correct the prophets the, the prophets speak of doom and gloom yeah. all right and that's what trump said yeah. he said there are prophets that say that the world's going to end through the middle east through a, a world war mm. roughly paraphrasing what he said yeah who else is saying that not bro not no other faction bro nobody's saying that we're the ones saying that man all right? Yeah. Beginning yeah. with the apostles and the elders of Great Mill. So even a lot of these other Israelite groups, they not saying that. They not it, even saying that. They not. You know, so, bro, every other faction of okay. somebody who's a, a religious figure, they don't want World War III to happen. Mm -mm. They want it to stop. We need to pray to God. No. no. That's the Most High's will. That's the Lord's will. That, that's the Lord's glorification uh, uh, that he will glorify himself on the earth by destroying America and taking down the Edomite power structure that been running for us hundreds of years. That's right. And that's why at the end of that little clip, Trump said we have weapons that are scary. And his whole thing is to stop World War III, which is against the uh, prophecies of the Bible. So they they, they, ain't, they ain't in the right spirit. They ain't never been. I better scoot up some. I got a quick one. Yeah, go ahead. It's uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Mm -hmm. The prophets which prophesieth of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall that prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. There we go. The prophets, when they when a, a true prophet come, he's coming to tell you exactly what the Heavenly Father says. And when the Heavenly Father, every time he has to lift up a prophet, is to do some reproving. Or to, to check somebody. Yeah, we, we're Israelites. Israelites? Uh, no, friend. God impressed me one day and I didn't know it. So. Thank you. God bless you. Man. Bless you. Yeah. Lord bless you. Yeah, yeah that's why, because I'm, 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 I'm people how uh, today is, uh, I'm people how today is spiritual and really it's just that. The Lord is attracting. That's all it is. This, this is the light. Yes, right. Hey, so we in yeah. them times, man. You know, you know what I'm saying. These people, they see, they know. We got, we got Christians out here on the street now. Yeah. They ain't been out here. Yeah. The reason they yeah. out here is because the Israelites is out here, man. That's right, bro. Yeah, yeah. And 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 they actually 
understand and know and see, oh, that's in the Bible. You're supposed to be out there. Right. Yeah. Matter of fact, he uh Jesus, yeah. as they would say, he saw Cristo. He he told us to go out there. So that's yeah. why they now they now now they taking part in it, but you gotta do it the right way. Yeah, that's right. That's it. You can't just do what you think. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do it the right way, man. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then you know And may may your how about me outside bless that woman, man. Yeah, because she you know? came over here that in in uh you know, she wasn't offended at, uh, at seeing us, which a lot of people are. And, right. and there's, there's actual Christians right here. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah. right. She gave yeah. to us. And she came to us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's May y'all yeah, bless her and her household. Yeah, that, 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 that just matched what I was I was thinking. Because um, they could have set up anywhere else, but they set up close to us. So the Heavenly Father could use that just to bring somebody in to, to, to flip their switch on at least to get them ready to, you know, like that woman. Yeah. Scripture talk about if you give a, a cup of water, right? You shall receive a prophet's reward. Yeah. You know? So she said, she 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 gave a, a offering, man. Right. Remind me of the lady with the mites, mm -hmm. you know? And you could tell, I was sincere what she did, man. Oh, she yeah. didn't even ask no questions. All she asked was, are you you Christians? I said, no, we Israelites. Uh -huh. And she, she, Obviously, she knew what that was. Yeah, because yeah. you know what I'm saying. Because she didn't back out on her uh, arms giving. Yeah, right. You know, you know? usually people run. You answer like I'm. Answer like, what's that? Pew. Because because what our people don't realize is that Christian was a derogatory term. Right. That right. wasn't the term, you know. Yeah. Which is how it is today. When when Christians was first in the Book of Acts, they said they were called Christians in Antioch. That was like a term to make fun of them. Right. Right. You know. Right, that's right, bro. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it was. And, and Nero would use that like it was nothing. Oh, those Christians. You know, they that's how they would say it, right. you know? That's how they would say it. Oh, y'all the oh y'all the chosen. That's how they were saying it, man. Right. It was a mockery. The chosen. Yeah, we the chosen. That's right. You know? That's right, man. True so so let me go back to this real quick, finish this out. Uh verse 15. He is grievous unto us, even to behold. For his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. And that's why Trump said what he said, man. Yeah. All right? And then he said afterward, after he said there are prophets that say uh, the world's going to end through World War III in the Middle East. Um, And that's why afterwards he said we have weapons that are scary. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And his whole thing, like I was saying, his whole thing is to get in office and to stop all of that. Right. To, to become friends with Russia, to become friends with China, and, and, and make business deals, and avoid World War III. That's not gonna happen. That's yeah, not gonna happen. Not really. All right, it's not written. You're right, brother. I don't know. Did you actually go to the video and check a little bit of it out? No, uh I, I just to listen there. to it. Uh, yeah, just that oh, you talking about Joe Rogan? Yeah, Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah, I watched yeah. some of it. I didn't yeah, watch it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I watched a little bit, and I caught that part. He said that. Yeah. He said he he would go he have want, a meeting yeah. with Putin. He exactly. have a meeting with these different dudes, and 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 talk. And they and they respect him. He said when he stepped in the room, they respect him. Yeah. He said he said before that uh, uh, interview, he said on another note before that, he said uh, when I if, if if they elect me as president, there will be no war. Oh shit. Yeah. Which is bullshit. Bullshit. You, you can't. Well, you can, you can say you can say all you want to. to we know we know there's gonna be. Oh war. yeah. All right, it's already. You can't. You can't undo what the Israelis have done. You can't undo unaliving children. I saw a video. A little Palestinian girl. She was carrying her sister. Mm -hmm. Seen it on her shoulder. Carrying. They was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Carrying her because her sister couldn't walk. Yep. And then dude interviewing them, man. Yep. Little girls. Little girls. Yep. You know? Man. You can't undo that, man. Oh. You got. You got people. You got men that that's. That that see that and they got a deep hatred for them oh, people, yeah. man. Bro, right. the one the Tilaki, no, no, the, the leader, the Hez, the the last leader they just killed of Hezbollah. Yeah, he said he he had a dream of uh, destroying Israel since he was a little child. And what they do to him, they took his ass. They took out. his ass quick. Took his ass out, man. Bro, <laughs> did y'all see the video? There is a I think it's a university over here in the um in the states. I forget what university it was, but basically the people that support Palestine was putting little white flags. On the uh, on the field, and it was hundreds of them. The, the students was going around kicking them shits down, bro, kicking them shits down for all the deaths. They was putting flags on there, so it was hundreds, and they was kicking them and laughing and kicking them and laughing and kicking them and shit. I 
believe the, the chancellor resigned. I forgot what university that was. See, see, but the hatred is mutual. Yeah. yeah. Right. On both sides. The hatred is mutual. Yeah, you, you ain't stopping with. Joel wrote this way back during the time of Nineveh and all of that, man. That's right. You know, he's seen it already. Trump ain't stopping nothing. Okay, I appreciate it. He's the, uh, uh, the scriptures say, uh, by peace and safety, they, uh, how's it written in uh, First uh, Thessalonians, the fifth uh, chapter, by yeah, peace and safety, safety, they shall destroy many or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's just, that's just that's all lies, man. That's an destruction uh, coming upon them? Uh, yeah, 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 that's the one. But just it's like he hardened uh, Pharaoh's heart, He's going to do the same to whoever, wherever uh, so-called king is in office. Yeah, yeah bro. Bro, right. didn't think his, um, that Egypt would be destroyed. Yeah. Right. This nigga Trump is talking about he's going to make Israel great again. When was Israel great? Israel? When is the state of Israel? When was that shit great? As soon as they got in there, a war started. When, <laughs> when, when has Israel been great? When has America been great? <laughs> when, the slave, when we were in total subjection. That's the only time uh, America had had its uh, great days. It's heyday. Yeah, the you time know? that the, the, when when Trump speaks about making America and Israel great, it's when they were at the height of their power. Yeah, yeah. that was and us. He's always, and they were able to do shit yeah, and, and and get away with it with, with and put fear on people. See that 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 day is over. It's over. You know. Yep. But yeah, go ahead. This is uh, Proverbs chapter twenty-one, verse one. It says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Right. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. That's why I said so-called king. Because right? yep. I was I was thinking about that scripture. Yeah. Yep. Right, bro. So just like uh, uh, uh I believe it's Daniel the tenth chapter, the Lord worked on that king's mind yeah. to do what he wanted to do. The Lord will, uh work on uh Trump's mind, you right. know, because right. it's it's gonna be a war, right? You know, because right. it's written already. Yeah. You know? That's a that's part of theatrics too to have the king saying ain't gonna be no war, but yeah. the Lord said it's gonna be. So it's kind of like it's gonna be. Who's going? Right. That's the Lord using theatrics. And see, the, see, the, the world don't want a World War Three mm -hmm. because they understand that ain't nobody gonna survive the nuclear war. <laughs> and, 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 and we understand there, there will be people that survive and that's the elect. That's the right, elect. Right, that's right. All right, that's the beauty of having this knowledge. Right. Okay? Yeah. But let me finish this out real quick and then we'll move on. Um, verse uh, 16, it says, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits. He abstained from our ways as from filthiness. Mm -hmm. He pronounced at the end of the just to be blessed and make it his boast that God is his father. And what are we seeing at the end of the day? That the kingdom of heaven is going to be given to these people. That we pronounce that his end to be blessed. At the end of the day, the, 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 the kingdom is the earth. All right? It's going to be given to the Israelites, and we're going to rule it. And yeah. we're going to rule it in righteousness under the Lord and Savior Yahweh. Shah. That's right. And, 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 and um, the end will be. Uh, uh, this third world war. Yep. All right. Right. And in in their in their minds, if if the war happens, won't well, nobody survive. But we are saying the end of the end of the third world war, the Israelites will be blessed. Yes. All right. The people of the heavenly Father will be blessed. Mm -hmm. All right. After the missiles that just destroyed America, then destroyed certain parts of the earth, then destroyed uh, the land of Israel. Yeah. It's only going to be one blessed people at that time, and that's yeah. going to be the uh, the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. Mm -hmm. All right, that's right, bro. That's right. <laughs> it seemed impossible too because of our 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 low estate that we're currently in. It's so like how the hell? That's why it says the strangeness of our salvation. Yeah, so far yeah. beyond. The, that they look for. So far beyond what they looked for. Like, yeah, they're not the looking ones? for us to to. Uh, Get up out of here in, in uh, spaceships <laughs> before before America's totally destroyed in um, nuclear missiles. Right. Matter of fact, we need okay. to get that. And that's why that's why they they they've uh, built these bunkers yeah, because they understand and know that this nuclear war is going to happen. Right here. You wouldn't have all these bunkers. people buying up these bunkers yeah. if they, if there if there will be no war. Guess what? Trump got a bunker. <laughs> okay. Fucking uh, Zuckerberg. Remember Rick oh, Ross yeah. was talking about I'm about to make my bunker. All the artists and shit, cause they saw Mark Zuckerberg. He right. he had like a 40 bedroom, 40 bath, 
shit all under the ground and shit. I yeah. forgot how many millions he this spent for that motherfucker. Long, <laughs> Very brigadier. It was like out of his bunker after how many millions? Like two hundred million for a bunker or something like that? I don't know how much, bro. No, uh, uh, Zuckerberg. I yeah, think yeah. it was like over two hundred million. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in, into his bunker. bunker. Yeah. Into his bunker. That shit ain't gonna save y'all. Nah. And and in and, and, and all the bunkers that's outside of uh, of um, America, the Heavenly Father gonna put the spirit on his elect to, to come down and fucking come get your ass out of those bunkers, man. Yeah, like, yeah that's weird. And yeah. you know what's crazy too? They're saying this, uh, this, uh, this, the World War Three is is, is is more alarming than the Cuban uh, Missile Crisis. Mm -hmm. You know, and everybody was shook at that time. Yeah. How much Missile more crisis. now? But everybody is 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 continuing like ain't nothing going on. Right. But that's what the scriptures say it's gonna be like the days of Noah. Noah. They were eating, drinking, yeah. marrying, giving, giving in and marriage. marriage until the day that uh the elect entered into the chariots and then the flood came. Mm -hmm. You know? So that's that's to come. The world gonna keep partying. You know, it's gonna seem like nothing is happening, but shit is happening. Look what uh Israel just did to Iran. Bro. Why the world is just oblivious. Crazy. To what the hell is going on? But we we got eyes to see this shit before this world get turned into a, a, a lake of fire, man. Yeah. You know, I remember right. being in school, man, uh, do, uh, 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 doing uh, studies on them ICBMs and shit. But you don't know shit about what the fuck is this? Not knowing that this is going to destroy America, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, Beautiful. the Lord put it all in the front of our eyes. Then He br bring us into this truth. Man, we we're blessed, Akyam, right. to uh to, to be a part of what we at, man. Right. Because uh, a lot of these people about to be asked out, man. That's right. right. Lord willing, we all make it, man. That's right. Yeah. That's you know? right, brother. That's right. Yeah. 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 Crazy times, man. Scary hours, man. These motherfuckers about to be celebrating Halloween. Yeah, bro. You know what, what I'm saying? Still. Halloween is what a few days coming, but uh the water's on fucking fire, man. You got wow. uh. uh Pestilences increases. Fucking McDonald's got everybody sick and shit. Yeah. All these food recalls. Uh, Cuba, Cuba, the whole the whole island of Cuba is in a blackout. Uh, nobody's talking about that. Hey, nobody. Even, nobody. Even Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, Mexico. Mexico uh, Acapulco is uh Florida. underwater, man. Underwater. Uh, nobody gives a fuck about Florida. What about what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I would, right. North Carolina. <laughs> them people are still dealing with all that crap, man. Yeah. Yes, and it, it, people are coming up sick because of all the toxins that they're washed up into the river and the dead bodies yep. and right. the chemicals is all mixing and you breathing in pure poison. Right. Yep. East Palestine, Ohio, they forgot about that. They, ain't nobody talking about that no more. The water that messed up those, the people, uh, uh, water, all mm -hmm. that contaminated, the shit they got to breathe, they getting sick. That shit is not being recorded. But this is not going to last long, man. Yeah. It's not going to last long. And now they and now they got the Dodgers to distract me. The Dodgers and the Yankees. And people are on it, bro. And that's, and, and that's a historic uh, uh, battle. That's like that's going back to the '80s. Yeah. yeah. They the, the world's been wanting this. Yeah. The L.A. versus New York. Right. And then it you know that Grand Slam that ended it last night. Right. Yeah. Yeah. People are people are totally uh 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 they're totally engaged into what's. The bread and circus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Get your, uh, that's pretty, that's pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't got to go back to Wisdom Solomon too. Yeah. It's a Wisdom Solomon five to one. Uh, second edition, sixteen after this. Yeah. Wisdom Solomon five and one. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him, and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, mm -hmm. so far beyond all that they look for. Hey, that's Donald Trump. That's Donald Trump. What he just said that lines up with that. You know, that's that's Donald T right there, man. <laughs> and and uh, going back into our history, when Herod seen uh, uh, John the Baptist, he feared John the Baptist. Yeah, he did. You know, yeah, that's like, that's gonna be the Edomites in general. All you Edomites fear the elect, man. Especially like, the elite. Mm -hmm. Because how they gonna how they gonna see the strangeness of our salvation? They're not gonna be here on the soils and watching it. They're gonna see it from the satellites. The Lord is gonna allow them to see us uh, get beamed up out of here. Mm -hmm. All right. It says because they're the ones that should to know. The average Edomite doesn't know anything, man. No, nah, don't they don't know nothing, man. They they caught up in you know Dodger the Dodgers and the Lakers and shit, man. They ain't really. This is talking about the elite. 
they're gonna see everything go down. That's why that's written. Because the elite is the ones that's gonna see it. From the satellites, they're gonna see us getting beamed up. And those thoughts are gonna be going through their head. Damn, these are them? Yeah, yeah cause they're gonna see it from their uh, 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 underground bunkers yeah. overseas, them underground cities. And they're gonna see it from the uh, satellites, man. Yeah. And that's what's gonna make them that much more afraid. All right, that's why uh, Revelation is written, uh, fall upon us. I got you up. You know what I'm saying? So that we won't, uh, from the la the wrath of the Lamb. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's go down. Yeah. It says, uh, verse verse 3. And they, re and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes a derision and a proverb of reproach. Yeah, because we was in slavery. We was in your subjection. We was under your damn hand. You know what I'm saying? We we was calling ourselves Negroes and Latinos. You know what I'm saying? We completely were separated from our from our father and following your way. And it seemed and you you spent this either might spend trillions of dollars to hide this information. That's why I said whom we had in derision. Yep. What does the word derision mean? Confusion. It means confusion. Meaning they made us to that state of confusion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How the hell are they? How did they get out of that, you know? Like when the apostles bring that story about story out how back in the day they, they pulled up in the limo and asked, how did you guys find out? All right? Because they had us in derision. We're in derision. Uh LeBron James, he's in a state of derision. Uh 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 Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving, uh 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 Diddy and them. All, all the people that is that are of some type of status in in society that are of our people, they're in a state of derision. Right. All right, mm -hmm. it don't matter what what they're doing because yeah. they don't know who they are. They don't know who their power is. So they're in a constant state of derision. And Esau did that. Esau did that. All right. Yeah. yeah. Verse four. We fools are counting his life madness, and it's end to be without honor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they set it up that way. Yeah. Look at the greats of our people that, that have went on into the spirit world. Prince, without honor, all right? Yeah, right. Uh, 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 Michael, Jackson. Michael Jackson's another one, without honor. They, he's a pedophile. Yeah. Uh, 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 Red, Fox. Red Fox, he died broke. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's the other one? James Brown. Yeah, James Brown. All right? Yeah. Culture changing men, yeah. without yeah. honor, all right? Yeah. Our people don't honor, honor the people that have paved the way for them. Who, who still honors Jackie Robinson? Right. Nobody honor them, man. Right. Okay? Nobody, bro. You honor the white man because the white man is the one that writes the checks. Sure. Right. Okay? Yeah, now the new the new school that got to the point where they 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 on purposely disrespect the ones that paved the way. Yeah, because uh let's use basketball. Yeah. When you go back to Bill Russell, Bill Russell had to deal with some racist ass Edomites, right? And he was busting ass. Will Chamberlain, the same thing. You fast forward all the way through in just sports in general. But I'm saying basketball because now you got these fucking basketball players. Yeah. These, these moles, these niggas is painting their nails. You know what I'm saying? Got women they got they got them womanly hairstyles. They wearing them little ass shorts. Yeah. All right. So they they totally have taken the manliness from us, man. Yeah. Right. And, and manufactured this soft, yeah. this soft uh 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 a, 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 a sorry ass excuse of a man. Yep. Okay. And saying that's how we supposed to be. And 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 that type of man that they manufactured. He has no resistance. He ain't bucking up against nothing. He's going with the program, man. He's he's getting bent over, you know? Yeah. What you think they did with Diddy? Mm -hmm. They demasculated the whole hip hop. Man, back when the, the hip hop I grew up to, you know what I'm saying? When certain songs played, you had to, you had to, yeah, you know what I'm you saying? What the fuck? I ain't playing that. You know, he trying to get shit started in here, man. You can't do that now, man, because everything now, it, it got a homo vibe to it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Fat Joe said, like, uh, rap back then, 
Because he got a new show on, uh, I believe it's at Netflix. It's one of them, uh, I peeped out one of his, when he was interviewing Method Man. He was like, man, back in the day, man, he was like, I wanted to take a picture with Biggie. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to, it was a lot of times, he said, I ain't got no pictures with Biggie. He was like, it was a lot of times I wanted to take a picture with him, but the music was so tough and hard back then. When you, when you seen each other, you was just like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. You just threw up the head, right. yeah. you know what I'm saying? And who, right. whoever got a picture back then, they, you know, it wasn't like they all, right. you know? Yeah. 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 It's just, they had to play that role as that, right. that hard, right. that yeah. hard dude, you yeah. know? Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, music was all steered back then. Right. Right. There wasn't no soft shit back then. Right. Like you come DMX. with some skinny jeans and shit, some pink shirt, your ass getting clowned. <laughs> Like an like artist like DMX, you know? Right. Yeah, it was it was it, it was not it was it was manly. It was manly, man. It wasn't it wasn't uh, the shit we see today. Like these manufactured rappers, like Lil Durk. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's supposed to be this hardcore G, but now look at him. Right. Right. To flee. You know what I'm saying? And that's all these rappers, man. They 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 they, pro they proclaiming this hard shit, mm -hmm. but now when they get behind them walls. It's a whole nother story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But go ahead. Yeah. Uh, verse five. How is he numbered among the children of the heavenly father? Right, because the, the way we're numbered, give me Isaiah one. The Lord have uh, preserved 7,000 men that will not bow. This is how we're numbered. You said Isaiah? Under yeah, that, uh, Isaiah, that's Isaiah. Romans? Or the, is it, uh, Romans seven or the yeah. one of the Kings. It's, it's one in Roman, uh, Isaiah, Isaiah one. one. Isaiah one is, uh, it's one of Isaiah I'm one, man. If it if it had the remnant, for, yeah, oh, the, the remnant. That's the one. Isaiah one for, right for the remnant, it would have been at Sodom. One and nine, one and nine. Isaiah one and nine. That's, that's the one. I, that's the one I yeah. want. Sodom All right, because remember it said, it said. Uh, read the derision part again, yeah. real quick. Verse five. How is he numbered among the chi oh, oh, the sorry. derision part? Yeah. Nine. It says. Uh, <laughs> Him who okay. we have had yep. once in derision. Verse 3. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision. Right, now stop right there. The reason it says, How was he numbered amongst uh, uh, the children of God is because of this scripture, uh, Isaiah 1 and uh, 9. This Isaiah chapter 1, verse 9. It says, Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, uh -huh. we should have been. As Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Totally destroyed. Yeah. See, but the the Lord's elect weren't gonna be caught up in that derision for long. We were in that derision. Yeah. But while we were in that derision, we knew something was up. Right. And it just took the the the, the true understanding of us to hear the word, all right, to snap us out of that derision. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's what Esau didn't count on. All right. That's what Revelation 11 and 8 is uh, talking about. Right. All right, the spirit of life entered into them, snapped us out of that der derision state that Esau uh, set them traps with, man. All right, that's how we were. That's how we're numbered amongst the children of God. All right, because it was prophesied that the Lord was gonna leave us a remnant that weren't gonna be caught up in the derision, in the tricks, in the wiles of the devil, man. I got you real quick, I Yeah. Uh, Proverbs eight, verse four. It says, unto you, O man, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. That's right. And the Lord has to give that to you. That's not something you can attain. You can't go to the uh, library and attain this under the understanding heart. The Lord has to give you that understanding heart. It had to be given to you before you even came out of your mother's womb, before you left the spirit world. All right, mm -hmm. to to go into your mother's womb, the Lord had to give you that understanding heart, to give you that ingredient of faith. Mm -hmm. All right, the, the ingredient to believe on the on the gospel when you heard it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, verse uh, five. How is he numbered among the children of the heavenly Father, and his lot is among the saints? Yep. How is he numbered amongst the children of God? We just showed one scripture, two scriptures to prove that. And there's many other scriptures to prove that. That's how, Lord will, we be a part of that number. We're numbered amongst the children of God because the Lord allotted it from the beginning. That's right. All right? We were ordained from the beginning, man. All right? To get this. 
we were we were just we were we were ordained for them to come down here to be indoctrinated with all this uh uh shit we are surrounded by but at some certain point the lord was gonna open up our minds to this truth all right that's how we are numbered amongst the children of the heavenly father go ahead it says verse six therefore have we erred from the way of truth yep and and, and that's what esau yeah. didn't count on all right the way of truth was found in the book he didn't count on this this part of it man that's because the lord filled him up with all that pride go ahead and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us we we weary we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction yea we have gone through deserts where where there lay no way but as for the way of the lord we have not known it. yeah that's right man and that's why trump is saying what he said he don't know the way of the lord you know what i'm saying even though he got a bible now you know it's a trump bible wow i didn't even know that trump has a bible now man Way and then God. those Edomite Christians truly believe that uh, Trump is the, is the man of God that's gonna save America. Yeah. They truly believe that. They don't know the uh, the way of the Lord, man. Yeah, that's what's gonna make this thing so beautiful, man. Yeah. Because here it is. They truly believe that they're the Christians mm -hmm. that's gonna that, that that they're doing God's will. But they all gonna be left down here, and the Lord gonna show them. You motherfuckers all had it wrong. Mm -hmm. So to say, uh, and now eat all these flames. Yeah, all right. and watch his men, watch his true people go up. Get beamed up, man. Like in that movie, uh, Immortals. Uh, uh, Theseus, he was left to dead. <laughs> and when the when the shit all came down, uh, 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 Zeus came and, and, and took his body. You know the the the, the, the yeah. Greek mythology of it. He didn't go down with the with the shit. Yeah. He went up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yep. Dope, Hell yeah, that was that a dope was, ass movie, dope, man. man. Theseus is my dude, man. Theseus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Theseus. That scene where uh he was at the old man and he was whopping the tree with his sword. Yeah. And he was like, I wanna fight. You know, as a boy. Mm -hmm. And then the old man told him uh which the old man was his, was the Zeus. most high in disguise. Yeah. Uh with you know, Greek mythology yeah. of Zeus. Yeah. He told him, he said, he said uh fighting is not what you it's it's it's, it's not about fighting decius it's about knowing when to fight right. right you know what i'm saying yeah lion king says that in yeah. another way you right. got to understand the time yeah you gotta in other words you got to understand the time when it's time to do it that's the ecclesiastes third chapter yeah right. under every uh 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 time there's a season uh -huh. you know and a purpose for every uh uh Work under the heaven. Yeah, Roughly yeah, paraphrased. Yeah, yeah. Remember, uh, Mufasa said, uh, um, uh, yeah, he was talking to Sim. He said, what he said, brave? He, he said, said uh, I'm brave when I have to I'm be. Yeah. To be. And then it's another movie, Columbiana. Remember when she was a little kid and she came to her uncle, I believe it was. Yeah. And he said, you have to first learn how to use this before you learn how to use these. Yeah. And that was the same thing in, uh, the the dragon show what was uh, uh game of thrones with the little girl oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah you yeah. know what i'm saying he yeah. trained her to lose use her use her use her yeah. use her mind yeah. and her sword you know what i right. mean yeah right. man and she, what you think the lord doing to us right now hey when you when you when you get into any type of martial art i don't give a damn how strong you are man. you know what i'm saying how you know if you don't use your mind while you in there getting it up with somebody you're gonna get fucked up if that person using his mind right. and you could be doper and you could be way better and stronger the best martial artists are those that 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 fight with their mind right you know they don't use emotion to uh to fight man bruce lee said that yeah you don't want to fight angry like you know yeah that's 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 emotional Control fight. your emotions that's emotional fighting. It's good to say a fool rages and is confident. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like it was this uh this Jake, they was at the foot the uh, I don't think it was football or bat baseball. And he was all up in this box. He didn't know the dude was a boxer. Mm -hmm. 
he was all in his face oh, talking yeah, about yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what? dude smiling and, and just dude was just away. smiling at him like, man, you don't know, I will, I will kill you with one punch. They showed his clips right after. Like, yeah. he didn't know who he was fucking with. Yeah, Jake. <laughs> and that's Jake emotional. Yeah. yeah. Jake get emotional when they feel like they disrespected. You know what I'm saying? That's that fool. And, and then you'll get your ass laid out. I, I done seen it in, in, in real time, man. Yeah. Motherfucker, uh, gangbanger. You know what I'm saying? Nigga that gang bang tough to a little skinny nigga and he threw his, his set up in his face. Man, that little nigga came out of his shirt and dumped his ass and had that motherfucker laid out in the middle of the casino. <laughs> Sleep. Yeah, yeah. Yo, know? because see, you yeah. cause he got emotional. Yeah, yeah. But when it came down to, to actually defend yourself, you can't do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, I seen one too with it. It was a, a old boxer. He was old. And young dude thought he could get him. Oh, in the ring. In the ring. Oh, dude worked, worked it. Worked it. This dude all was around a, uh, the ring. He was chasing his ass all around the ring. He was called. A, uh, he, he's one of those. Uh, <laughs> damn. What are those fighters? Uh, what they what, fight like a with? What they fight with the? Uh, their gloves off. Bare knuckles. Bare knuckles. Yeah. UFC. Uh, but he's like he's like that tall one that fought uh, the bomber, the bomb squad dude. Uh, oh, you talking about Tyson Fury? Uh, yeah. He was a gypsy, gypsy. yeah. Oh, yeah, gypsy, gypsy, the old gypsy, gypsy dude. Yeah. Whooped his ass, man. Gypsy's, gypsy's doing gypsies. They bare knuckle fight, man. In their in their countries over there, and they and they when they have problems, they motherfucking fight until they done. And that's 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 Benjamin. A yeah, lot of them is a uh, bun yum yum, man. Yeah. Cause that's how Benjamin get down rough. Rough as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Knuckles. And then they then after after they fight, they they uh they settle it and they cool. That's you watch the movie uh 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 Braveheart. All right, that was Benjamin. Was it Braveheart? With uh, uh with, with uh Mel Gibson? Yeah, yeah, Braveheart. That was Benjamin, man. That's supposed to be Benjamin Knights, man. Yeah, the tri the, the tribal people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was it. Have, uh, yeah, that was basically it on that. Nah. Yeah, go ahead. This is. I mean, it's really this whole thing is. This whole chapter is is nothing but jewels, you know. It's yeah. like you could keep going, really. Cause nah, but that's 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 good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, because it goes in on Esau as how yeah. he gonna be destroyed and his hope. He ain't got no hope. All that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is Second Peter's chapter one, verse twelve. Wherefore I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though you know them and be established in the present truth. Right, like we were saying, we were put in remembrance of these things. That's right. This is what took us out of that state of derision. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, one of them states of derision is being up under a woman's ass. Yeah. That's a hell of a derision for uh, the men of our nation, yeah, man. Bro. Still to this day. To this day, yeah. you got men on the internet trying to convert a, a woman that don't want to be converted right. to come up under her man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Can't break that curse. Oh, they trying, they trying to get this woman to you're not gonna get the black woman to submit no, to you, man. You're not, because no, no. then you she are, not submitting to you, man. Nope. That's that was a curse going back to Genesis, the third chapter, when it says that uh the Heavenly Father will um put your husband over you. Uh, your desire shall be to rule over yeah, your husband. Your, your desire will be to rule over your husband. Right. Right. He and, will be over you. And 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 and, and, and when you go to the fourth chapter, it says, if thou doest good, uh, uh, shouldest thou not be accepted. But if thou doest not good, sin live at the door. These women are laden with sin. Oh, yeah, they, they right. fucking. Because to do good is to be up under your husband, your man. That's yeah. right. And to stay there. Right. All right? No matter, no matter, no matter if you're not happy or right. any of that bullshit that you learned here in Babylon. Right, right. right. The man you allowed to go in, in between your legs and, and cut you open and put a baby in you, you're supposed to be under that man till he dies or you die. Right. Yeah. But you're not. So that's why you, you're all confused and bugged out because sin lying at the door. Right. Everything you do is is you're you're laden with it. Yeah. All right? It has to be, everything has a reaction, even sin does. Yeah. Everything has a reaction. That's why these women are so bugged out of their mind, man. Uh, when you understand, when you understand. The, the, the chemistry that goes into making a baby and how many billions of sperm one man can shoot into a woman's body and they become a part of her body. Mm -hmm. 
they swim everywhere. They don't just go, you know, because the fallopian to when you when the when the when the sperm go into the cervix, some go to the where the egg is at, some go to the other side. And then you got sperm getting stuck in certain parts and they swimming all through, they become a part of that woman, That's man. Why you become one. If you know? So and she and she didn't allow billions of uh because every all it takes is one ejaculation and that's billions of a man's dna in your dna in your in in your uh your 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 vessel so that's why you all messed up that's why you all messed up man you got spirits on you yeah yeah you know what i'm saying that's why you comparing this man to this man and that man to that man because these are men you allow into your uh your goddamn body man and they don't go away they're there till you die man yeah, if you look at a diagram too yeah. of the vagina, there's a gap between the egg and the fallopian tube. Yeah. And uh, that gap right there, I can see how the sperm could just shoot through the gap and go through all the rest of the yeah. body. Yeah. There's even women that uh, they got to get surgery because their egg um, goes on the outside of the uh, the uterus, and and, and, it, and it's fertilized on the outside of the uterus. Right. And then go to the fallopian it went down or something and it attached to the outside of the uterus and they got to get special surgery to get it uh like removed yeah and then you had those women that get uh uh with they when they snatch all they cervix out oh uh they get they like look i forget the actual operation like a, a fallopian so that's a free fall I mean, of, of sperm just in there <laughs> That's just a free fall of sperm up in you. No, not even no, tubes. They get their whole shit they get snatched the cervix. out. Damn, they get the full I met a chick that did that. It's an actual, I met it's an actual oh, yeah. surgery. I forget. If anybody know what the surgery is, you can put it in the comment uh, section. Oh, I, 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 I met a chick that did that. Yep, I All met right? a chick that did that You shit. can't do nothing with a woman. Like, she's for, she's for fun. Yep. She's for fun. And you should know if you meet a woman that had a hysterectomy, oh. that means she's loose. She get that she got rid of the, her 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 uh, reproductive, reproductive organs so that she can be loose, right? Without having the consequences of having a baby, right? Wow, that is insane. Real, real quick, guy. Uh, yeah. Deuteronomy twenty three and one. He that is wounded in the stones, or he, I'm sorry, he that is wounded in the stones, or have his privy member cut off shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. So all you trannies that got rid of your uh, rod, but now you, you realize you messed up, you're going to have to be reborn in the kingdom. That's it. That's why that scripture Lest you be of the elect, man. That's why that scripture is there. <laughs> when a man gets into a, a squabble or a fight, yeah. if a woman hits a man in his, in his rod. He grabs it. Uh, yeah, she grabs it. Yeah, yeah. That... Uh, what is it that she? Her hands get cut off. Her yeah, hands get, get cut off. Yeah, because that's, that's his. That's his. That's his that's family where, jewels. Yeah. and that's the only way a woman can stop a man when he's in a state of rage. Right. Get him in she can't. She can't grab something and hit a man and stop that man from whooping on her husband. The only way that she can stop that man from getting the best of her husband is by grabbing him by his nuts real hard. Because that's the. Only, that's like the uh, reset button for a man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why it's in there because it, it could have easily said if she get involved or get in the way. If she get in the way, that man gonna backhand her ass and she gonna be out the picture, and he's still gonna be on her man ass. <laughs> you know? YouTube videos where they got women with high heels and a dude laying on the goddamn parking lot floor, and she just stomping his goddamn uh his tes testicles while he fucking just laying there. Yes, yes, ma'am. Oh you know? yeah, that, that's that weird eating. Well, yeah, that's that fetish bullshit. Yeah, yeah, freaking up. But well, I, go ahead. I, I brought that out too, because if that's what it, it say concerning a man, how much more a woman I get her whole uterus snatched out? That's she's crazy. useless. That's crazy. She's loose. She she's a toy. She's counted. She's as strictly as well. to play with, man. Shit. Lest she be a, a woman of the elect, man. And you know the women ain't built the same, man. Back then <laughs> they would they they would cry, they would cry themselves yeah. to sleep yeah, because they couldn't. Have a have a uh, a child, man. Yeah, you know, the, a, a, having a child back then was a, a, a actual good thing because yeah. you made the man have you brought you brought in the heir. Yeah. If you ain't bringing in no heirs, how can you pass along the, your kingdom to your son, man? Yeah. And furthermore, your legacy. furthermore, it gave that woman her her true purpose. Yeah. Because right. now she can nurture up and raise up that child. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the purpose of a woman, man. Right. Without 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 a children, what what what, what, what purpose does does a woman right. have? What are you doing? Right. What are you doing? You strictly 
to get bent over. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's wrong. You know what I'm saying? When the Lord created when in the beginning, he said be fruitful and multiply. multiply. Yeah. He didn't say uh rip out your internal organs and, <laughs> yeah. and, and stop but uh, that, reproducing. But that goes back to the <laughs> derision. That. that goes back to the derision that Esau put on yeah, us, man. Esau. Because Esau will tell you uh, you don't need it. Yeah. You know, you don't need it. We can we can we can uh, uh we can hysterectomy you. You know what I'm saying? Esau tell you that shit, man. He gonna sell you. He gonna sell your fallopian whole uterus on the black market and shit. Go put it in the old Oh yeah, they they sell it. Yeah, they sell it. Or they use it for stem cell research. Yeah. You know, they use it for stem cell research, especially the cervix of a woman. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah. The Israelite woman at that. Go ahead. Back in uh. So yeah, read it from the top. Back in Second Peter's, and the reason we went there is because that that's a part of the the derision we were under. That's a major derision of, of a man being up his woman's ass. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Back in Second Peter's chapter one, verse twelve, wherefore I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though you know them and be established in this present truth. Yeah, I think it meant as long as I am in this tabernacle to stir you up by putting you in remembrance, knowing that shortly I must put off this, my tabernacle, even as our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach have showed me. Right, so we have we have been put in remembrance, all right? And this is what brought us out of that state of derision, that state of confusion, okay? Mm -hmm. That was it? Yeah, that was it. Uh, you, what was y'all at before? Second as was 16? I, I got to put 16. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, just going back to Trump thing after Dan Allen. It's 1 Corinthians uh, uh, 3 and uh, no, 4 and uh, 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Heavenly Father, and that the Spirit of the Heavenly Father dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of the Heavenly Father, him shall the Heavenly Father destroy. For the temple of the Heavenly Father is holy. That's which right. temple ye are. Which is your body. You know what I'm saying? You want to keep your body the way the Lord gave it to you, the best of your ability. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because when you when, when you when you take things from your temple, it, it fucks with your spirit. Yeah. You know, everything is connected in your body, man. Yeah. You become an abomination because you're off balance. Mm -hmm. I says a uh, <laughs> false uh, balance. balance is abomination to the heavenly Father. Yeah. And then it's it's your it's you the only one that's like everybody's different. Even though people look similar, they they different. Even twins, even twins that look exactly the like. When you if you know them, you'll be able to tell the difference if you if you're around them long enough. You'll be able to see who was who. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord, the Lord, that that's a part of the Heavenly Father. Um, like um, um, uh, King David said, I was made wonderfully. I was fearfully and wonderfully made. Yeah, man. When you look at the process of a baby being made, you know, because Esau got the technology to where he actually is in the body of the woman Watching. with cameras, and he showed you the whole process, the light that flashed when the uh, yeah, you seen that video, when the, bro? When the, when the egg, I, yeah, I saw that uh, b before the video. Okay, I remember because when uh, Elder Wama did a video years ago, uh -huh. dealing with it about. You know the the, the, the process of uh yeah. of uh, uh 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 bringing a, a human into the into the world, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was in my archives for next week. I I, I ran across that video this week. I was like, oh snap! Yeah, it was like a little flash when the sperm entering. When the when the when the when the, when the sperm reaches yeah. the egg, there's this flash of light that happens inside the uh, woman's uh, cervix. Yeah, but Wisdom of Solomon it, talks yeah. about yeah. that. I was just gonna say uh, that. The, the last the chapter. Yeah. yeah. The last right. chapter talks about that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's a fire in the water. It's a spirit. And Esau knows, but he act like he don't. He'll say, we don't know why this occurred. You know, you, you say you don't you know why because, because you can't duplicate it. Yep. You, you know what I'm saying? Demon. You a demon. You can't duplicate that 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 because what that flash is is the spirit entering in the body, into right. that uh yeah. that egg, man. Right. right. You can't right. duplicate it because the Heavenly Father is putting that spirit right. in it. And you, 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 you can't just, produce yeah. a, a and spirit. You ain't the yeah. you ain't the, I was just going to say, the Lord <laughs> said he killeth and maketh alive. Right. Ooh, right. That's the issue right death belongs That's to the it. Heavenly Father. He the That's one that the scripture. brings. The scripture said one cometh and, and another uh, uh, goeth. Departed. The, yeah. In the pocket foot, like somebody, as somebody's dying, 
somebody's being born at the same time. Many times. Many times. Many times. Old. Many people dying. Yeah. Many Speaking people coming. That's a process that happens, man. Daily. Hey, so, uh, what, what brothers is born on the same day? Man, this brother, yeah, this brother, too, too. These brothers is born on the same day, man. I love it. Yeah. The same. Basically, got the same. Y'all the same name, age too, huh? Same, same age, Both same left first name. Both left-handed. Yeah. Wow. Like, With, from on, two man. different fathers, wow. two different mothers. Bro, that's wow. crazy when you say the same name and the same day. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And left-handed, bro. And they and both, both left-handed. Left wow. Yeah, I was sitting off there age. too. I was like, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> damn. Shit, we man. <laughs> that's the Lord though. That's the Lord showing. Look, I'm powerful. Like that's a uh uh that's why uh one of the titles here I wish I gonna have is the wonderful counselor. Dude. Because you're gonna wonder how the hell did you yeah. come up with that? How did you <laughs> and me and my sister uh have the same curse day. Damn, look at that. You know what I'm saying? Born on the same same day and shit. Go, uh, going back to the flash, uh when the uh, flash uh you know it's shown in the camera. He saw a camera and shit. The scriptures say we, uh, the Lord let us borrow our own spirit. Oh, yeah, sure You know, does. so it's the Heavenly Father putting that spirit, you know, yeah. down, you know, yeah. letting us uh, uh, function in these bodies, man, because the, the the body is lifeless without the spirit, Yeah. you know? Right, that's why it says to, uh, that's why Esau you know, making robots. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he yeah. Wanna, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's the, he got to have a robot. He got to, that's the carnal way. Yeah, yeah that's the carnal, yeah. and he got to, it got to be powered. And by a battery. Ain't See, no he could put, he could put, he could put a a, a fire in that. Yeah. Like, like kind of having if I to put a fire in the in the water, and create life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying he could put a fire within the uh yeah. it's a, the AI. Yeah. It's, right. it's, it's, it's called a, energy or a, a battery. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a, a battery. cell. A cell. It's, it's a battery. Dura yeah, cell. Battery. Yeah. It's it's a battery. Battery. yeah. It's a battery. Dura cell. Yeah. <laughs> and that movie, the robot was able to train. He was like, I have training. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. yeah. But he had he was programmed he to have he it wasn't yeah, something right. that yeah. his his creator programmed him that way. Mm -hmm. right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that uh Will Smith's character can figure it out. Right. Yeah. You right. know what right. I mean? Right. He saw Sean right. be the ar architect. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that dude is the devil. <laughs> that shit cold up. Uh, when you rewatch it, yeah. you rewatch that movie I Robot, you like, oh shit. We he here. The battery yeah. too. He, he like this. stuck his hand in the battery. Oh, he stuck his hand in that motherfucker. That metal hand he had. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. But uh, let's go to Second Nature Sixteen. But going back to um, the world ending in nuclear destruction in World War Three is going to happen in, in Second Nature the Sixteen chapter. He's seen it. And remember, Ezra, he was fasting. He fasted up to what? Twenty one days, I think it was. And collectively, it was like 21 days. Yeah, he was told to eat flowers yeah. of the field. Yeah. Eat nothing but the flowers in the field. And, th and this was 500 years before Yahweh Shai came on the scene. 500 years before. So today, from today, this is 2,500 years ago. Uh, he's seen this. And he, he, he labored. He, he afflicted his body so he could see what would happen today. Three weeks. Fasting. Yeah. 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 And the reason he, because he wanted to understand them, them, them mysteries. Yeah. He want to see. He want to know. See, man, I need to know that, man. He, well, he said, "I will go over, go over to the field and eat nothing but the flowers." Yeah, got you. And I'll give you the understanding. I'll be back in seven days. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. It's uh, Second Ezra nine and uh, let's see, uh, uh, twenty twenty four. It says, matter of fact, 23, it says, Nevertheless, if thou wilt cease yet seven days more, but thou shalt not fast in them. It says, but go in a field of flowers where no house is built, and eat only the flowers of the field, taste no flesh, drink no wine. And you know those flowers had to be, you know, because they there's certain flowers, like for one, one flower in particular, it's called the lotus flower. Yeah, that flower. If you eat that flower or drink that tea, it'll help you fall into a deeper sleep and have lucid dreams. If I'm not mistaken, I believe I believe they're lilies. Yeah, lotus, lotus, like, the lotus, like lily. lily. Yeah, it look like a lily. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is another name for lily. Like lilies, okay. lilies. Uh, lilies yeah. come in different shapes. I mean, yeah, different shapes. Yeah, and different colors. shapes and colors. This one is particular, the blue lotus. You could Google it. And yeah. look up the, the benefits to uh, blue lotus uh, yeah. flowers, man. You know, they got flowers where you make tea out of them. Yeah. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Oh, when you put them in your water, yeah. it just turn your water. Uh, Whatever color the flower is? It turn it like a purple. 
it, they're blue, but it turns it like a purple. Yeah. yeah. Bro, remember you was, uh, maybe like three weeks ago, you was telling us about some flower that, yeah, some flower petal. Yeah, yeah, I, I went to an earth, it, it was called, a, uh, it's a uh, coffee shop down in LA called Earth Cafe. And uh, I had got like a coconut cake. And when they gave me my coconut cake, they put a flower on there and it's edible. You know what I'm saying? It was like a, it was like, it was like a blue flower, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got, they, yeah, they got certain flowers that when you eat them and when you fall asleep, you go into these deep, uh, deep sleeps to, and you'll have these real, uh, not hallucinative. Yeah, yeah. But, or just uh, like, uh, it open up that like part of your brain. Yeah, Drill right. Graphic. Yeah, my, got and, the name. Uh, I got it at the house. Yeah, I got it. At you the know house. What's, what's that word I'm looking for? Uh, 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 like, like graphic, uh, but yeah. like uh, vivid dreams. Yeah, yeah. vivid, like vivid yeah. dreams. Yeah, what is that? I mean, that's opening up a. It's really your brain is it's, releasing some type of chemical. Yeah, to the do flower, that. the flower that you eat is actually uh, helping you open up uh, whatever you know in the brain. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The the, the flower contains. Uh, 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 a a a chemical that that your brain recognizes and it opens up, you know, yeah, and yeah, different neurons and things of that nature. Right? Yeah, because we already everything, the it's already in our mind. That's that same woman. These the, the, the different chemicals that um, they're already in our mind, but when we take herbs and all of that, our brain is able to release them into your body. Yeah, that's how it works. And then uh, I was gonna say too, rose oil. To get rose oil, you know how expensive it is? Rose oil is hell of expensive. Oh, y'all got one time? Yeah, I, I don't I'm, I'm. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, gracias. No, thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that lady, she was going to buy us tacos and was, she, was, she, she did enough. I think it was the, that word, lucid. Lucid dreams. Lucid dreams. Lucid. That's the word. That's the word. Lucid Lucid, dreams. lucid goes back to the light. To right. Light. The word light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. That the rose oil, to get fucking rose oil, it's expensive as fucking hell, man. Just to get a little bottle of it. Man, yeah. Man, man, the Lord bless you. That's right. You go to, you go to, uh, go to, uh, like I go to the back cave. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a little expensive, but that's where you can get them oils. You know what I'm saying? You want that, uh, the, uh, like the Spike Nard and all that, them heathens got that, man. Yeah, they and they understand the benefits to it. Yep, they be knowing, yeah. One of the tea is uh, butterfly tea. Okay. Butterfly tea. So when you make that butterfly tea, they come blue in a bag. Mm -hmm. And it basically, when you put it, when you, uh, you know, steep it, it turns the water uh, uh, like a, like a, a, like a vibrant it, uh, purple. Um, amethyst purple. Yeah, like a real mm -hmm. deep, vibrant purple. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Put that, put that King, King David told us me to go and get that water. Oh yeah, I got you. Yeah, when when Moses took the certain tree and he made the the bitter water sweet. Right. It was it was the the the, the, the uh, it was the the actual tree that he used. It had some it had a compound in it to to make the waters drinkable. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So. Going back to Esdras, when the angel told him to go into the, 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 the field where there no houses are built and eat only the flowers of that field, yeah. them flowers, they, they did something. Yeah, that blue you lotus, is, is, uh, it, it, it makes you hallucinate. Yes, it, it gives you real lucid dreams. Yeah. It opened up his uh, pineal gland. It opened you up in your, your pineal gland, man. If you if you a demon, you, you might not come back. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, see, Dad that, knew about the those flowers too that make you uh peyote and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Gab yeah. was yeah. yeah. Lines, man. I think that's a uh, you got uh, Damiana. What makes you have vivid dreams? That's the that's a uh, yeah. flower, Damiana. See, that, I can see how you know these different drugs like they the people it's spliced with this stuff, but it's mixed with chemicals. That's yep, and that's what makes you hooked to it and. It throws your whole system off because it's unnatural chemicals in it. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, let's go back and read uh, that. Do you want to read this real fast or do you want to What's that? Uh, that you call for Samuel? Yeah, read that real quick because yeah. here's another account where uh King David he wanted a certain water. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it had to be something about this water. 
that he wanted to where his men went and risked their lives for. It. You know what I'm saying? It probably had, it was probably right by some flowers that gave the body energy or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It says 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse 14. It says, And David was then in an hold, and the garrison of the Philistines was then in Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one will give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. And the three mighty men break through the host of the Philistine and drew out water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate. And it took was it. something about that water that King David wanted, man. Yeah, because he could have got water from anywhere right. else. Right, but that water probably had, like, you know, it was probably a natural, you know how they say Gatorade is filled with pro uh, uh, electrolytes. Gatorade is trash. And it, and it give, yeah, of course it's trash. But they say how it's filled with the electrolytes that it give the body energy to keep going. Right. See, King, it said King David was in a hole. Matter of fact, look that word hold up. Look up that word hold. Because okay. I believe this is the same, around the same time when King David had got injured. Let me go to my eye. Uh... It's really crazy. <laughs> yeah, there were certain waters, man, that, that, you know, the scripture tells about how the, he made the water sweet with the wood. Yeah. Now, if you take moringa seed, if you take a, a moringa seed and you eat a moringa seed, any water you drink, it automatically turns sweet. Yeah. yeah. It turns <laughs> sweet. I mean, it, it's sweet, sweet upon your tongue. You know, you know, a, a, a moringa oliveira, mm -hmm. which the leaf, the the uh what was you just the seed, I was right here, but I'm saying what the, the did you root, say? Hold. Uh everything on the plant the is good for you. I don't think yeah, I mean, did I yeah, say I you host? Had a test with hold. was at the movies. Yeah. And you had some seeds. He yeah. was like, right. just eat it and, and then drink some of the water. Oh, we had like okay. it was like little, 14. the little little fountain water. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? We drunk, I was like, damn it's sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After eating one of those seeds. Right, right, right. That's my thing went on. Yeah. I think that for the iPhone cut off. Wow. What's it? Uh, my Second Samuel. Yeah, what is it? Second uh, Samuel is twenty-three and a fourteen. Twenty-three. They 14 even got a, a uh, certain berry when you eat it. It makes everything sweet. It's a red. It's a red little berry. And uh, if you eat a lemon, it's gonna make the lemon taste like a Kool-Aid lemon. Yeah. Uh, like like you drink like you eating Kool-Aid in a lemon. Yeah. Wow. You know. You, you said you know you you said you knew the name of it. That berry? Okay. You got that word hold? Yep. This is uh the word hold in 2 Samuel 23 and 14 comes from the Hebrew uh Matazawad. It says, Net, pray. Right, he was in a jam. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He was in a jam. The, 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 the Philistines were surrounding him. And I believe when you read up, he had got uh injured, if I'm not mistaken. Because King David was he was so bad, it was like, damn, hold up. What you mean? They just got off a of victory. He yeah. was tired. He was tired. He, he was, was, tired. Tired. He, he he was weary. He was weary. So that's why he wanted that water. Yeah, right. That certain water. Because he knew that water would have would have would have replenished him and he would have got back busy. Yeah. Hey man, I need that water from Bethlehem, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean go get that, man. man. You know, he probably feel, just said it too out of just uh, you know, just speaking. And they knew, and they, they knew like, like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go do that. that. We're gonna go do that. We got it. He didn't even know that they were going to go do it. And when they did do it, he didn't even drink it. He poured right. it out yeah, because they had risked their lives for him. Yeah. That gave him energy. Pour out a little man. water. Man. 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 But go ahead, we finish reading that? Yeah, back in the... Yeah, yeah. So it was something about that water that, that, that would replenish him. You know, just going into the fact that flowers and, you know, certain things are beneficial to the body, man. Yeah, man. Yep, yep. yep. Back in 2 Samuel 23 and 14, it says, And David was then in an hold, and the garrison of the Philistines was then in Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. And the three men break through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate, and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he would not drink thereof, but poured it out unto the Lord. That's right, man. That's right. And he said, Be it far from me, O Lord, that I should do this. It's is not this the blood of the men 
that went in jeopardy of their lives, therefore he would not drink it. These things did man, these three mighty out, men. Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they out, bro. We bring them out through the spirit. Ain't nobody out here teaching the word but us, man. They, they scared. For years, man. They scared. But everybody come out because we, we that close, man. Yeah, we that close. I, I'm loving it, man. I'm at, yeah. like, I'm loving it, man. Hey, it ain't bothering us. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That mean, that mean we doing what we supposed to, man. We bring him out. You understand? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that yeah. Was, that was it, man. Uh, that Second was it. Ezra's. Ezra's. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it, was, oh, yeah, it, yeah. it stemmed off of, yeah. um, we was talking about how Ezra is fasting with his body to get these revelations of what's going to happen in the near future. That's right. And Trump said, Trump literally said it, man. He said there's prophets out there saying that the, the world the world is going to end in the Middle East, dealing with World War III, man. Well, that's what Ezra's seen. Yeah. Yeah. This is 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 1. Woe be unto thee, Babylon, in Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt, in, in Syria. Babylon, Asia, Egypt, and Syria. All those are cold names for America today. America is known as being Babylon. What is the other, what's the other names? Uh, Asia. Asia. Egypt. Over here. Over yes. here. Um, over here. America practiced all the, the, the same practices of uh, what Babylon, the Babylonians did. The which same were, gods. Which was on the continent of Asia. Which is on the continent of Asia. Yeah. All right. Yep. What, I, what, First, I, what, what, what's the other names? Uh, Egypt and Syria. Egypt. What was Egypt known for being? Going? Having the Israelites in slavery. The Israelites are back in slavery again. Like during the time of Egypt. All right? But this time, Pharaoh is in uh, a Hamite. Which the Hamites are the Africans. No. Pharaoh is Pharaoh the white man. is the Edomites, which are the self-proclaimed white people. Verse 2. Gird up yourself with clouds of sight and hell and be well your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. Yes. A, yep. a sword and sit upon you and who may turn it back? And the Lord saying, get ready to go through sorrow. That's right. Because destruction is at hand and that destruction is nuclear destruction. Yeah. That's the destruction, which you hear talking about every time you click on the news, you hear these politicians. They're talking about World War III and how nuclear missiles will be involved. All and this there, there's have there have never been a time before that was dealing with war where nuclear missiles was involved. Right, right, right. The time is now. Right. right. Back in the only time was in the Cuban crisis, but this is on a higher level. But we talking but, about but, nuclear. I'm though. talking about they weren't yeah. used though. Yeah, yeah, yeah they right. weren't. But see, it's still it's still within the, the same period. period. It's right. we what the that Cuban the crisis is in the uh, in the 60s. That's still the same time. And the most side uh, didn't want it to happen. Remember, yeah. it says he, the the beast should have one hour, um, and he should rule one hour with the beast, yep. which which when the NATO NATO was established in what uh, I forget what year it was. Right after World War Two. Right after World War Two. This is all within that same hour. Uh, Verse, I forget. I forget the, the actual date, but this is all within that same yeah. hour, yeah. and this is that ruler. This is the rulership of the separate clan white man. This is whole power structure, and, and and the sword that the heavenly father gave him is that nuclear missile. All right, that's why the movie Oppenheimer is so important. You know, but I Verse four, a fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Yeah, because you can't stop it. All right, and it said plagues with a plural because the, the nuclear destruction is just like the the cherry on top to finish everything. But before that, it's going to be a series of events taking place of judgment, like famine. All right, uh, Revelation the thirteenth chapter. The separate claim white man is going to try to force everybody. To, to get that mark, which is that 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 micro C hip, okay? That's what that is, and you won't be able to buy or sell unless you get that thing implanted inside of you. So it's going to be a series of events that will take place. But before that, 
uh, uh, I mean, but, but after that, that's when the nuclear World War Three is going to finalize and nuclear missiles going to be shot throughout the earth. And America going to be 100 uh, percent annihilated. It will be nothing left of the United States of America. You won't know what state. No, it won't. You won't. It's just going to be a giant desert. OK. Verse five. Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away an hungry lion in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it have begun to burn? May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer? So you hear this analogy right here? Once a, 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 a strong archer shoot an arrow, the arrow that gets shot is not gonna hit reverse or stop mid air. It come back like a boomerang. Right. Now, nah, once the arrow shot, it's gonna go wherever the target is. Well, that's what another code name for the missiles. They called arrows. Yeah. All right. They even got uh um uh um literally that's what these nations call their their missiles. They call them arrows, man. Arrow. They got a movie called Broken Arrow with uh John Travolta and uh Ben Affleck. Right. Uh, no, not Ben Affleck. Uh. <laughs> Damn, what's his name? Old school actor. He he played a movie called Gleam in the Cube. He was riding a skateboard. Uh, I can't. Damn, I, I can't forgot remember. his. I forgot his name, but uh, he one of them old school actors. I forget. Uh, and I mean, I wouldn't know. And it was a uh, uh, Broken Arrow. Basically, uh, the 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 plane they had they had he had took a a nuclear airplane. So you know. He had he had hijacked a, a nuclear airplane with with nuclear weapons on it. Yeah, see. Oh, I'm thinking of some of our seals. See, with see? yep, like. see. Look at that. So so and then, and then come Christian. on, man. Yeah. When you actually look at a nuclear missile, it, just, it looks like a long arrow, man. Okay. Yeah. Back in Second Edger 16 and uh, seven, may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sent the plagues. The mighty Lord sent the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire, a fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? Mm -hmm. He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Mm -hmm. The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder? at his presence mm -hmm. the earth quaking literally, literally yeah because uh, this whole place and everything that's left in it is going to be turned to powder <laughs> oh uh get that in second edge bro the third chapter 19, you got something real quick 1945 the u.n was established yep 1945 the u.n was established <clears throat> what about nato NATO. What you mean on the third chapter? Which the UN, the UN I think the is UN a part came. of a part of NATO. Uh, yeah, NATO, NATO came for, first, right? Like the treaty. Well, I think it was. Uh, the UN was right? Yeah, because yeah, cause NATO didn't yeah. come to after World War Two. Yeah, yeah. So April fourth, nineteen forty nine. Yeah, forty nine. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. four years after. And then yeah. it talks yeah. about uh, he should have power one hour with the beast. All these shall give their power to the beast. Yeah. 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 You got that uh, melt with firm heat? Uh, that's the second address. Oh, I mean, uh, second, uh, second, second Peter. Second Peter. You, you had a quick something? No, no. You okay. had said second address. Oh, man. My bad, brother. I thought. Second Peter's three. I'm looking for a two. I thought I said second Peter. Three, three and uh, 11. Yeah. Yep. This is uh, second Peter chapter three, verse 11. It says, well, I start at verse 10. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. There we go. The elements is going to melt with fervent heat. Getting put back to its, to its uh, natural state. Its natural state. It's going to go back to the gaseous state. Yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Invisible state. Yep. Yeah, man. That's. But he said, the Lord threatening you should not utterly be beaten to powder. Right. You shall not fear. It says, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned, burned up. up. There we go. Hey, uh, Malachi said that the, uh, what is that, four and one? 
It's gonna be an oven, like an oven. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna be like an oven. They coming. Ain't no modern oven neither. It shall burn as an oven. You know, burn, we talking about burn. not even the old, burn, hotter than the old school burn, oven, man. Burn. Yeah, where it's just an open flame. You yeah. can't control that, control that temperature. That's just a, a hot, you know what I'm saying? That's why when we made our bread, they call it non-bread today. You just, you flattened it, you put it in for a quick second and you pull it out. Mm -hmm. Because it was that hot. You it flip it, hot. put it in that quick and it was yeah. done. Yeah, yeah. finished. Ain't no way you could just sit. Uh, yeah, you let it sit. You bring it out of you bring a it out of frisbee. <laughs> you know? yeah, cold. Yeah, so you, you know, turn that motherfucker straight into cold. Right you can't come back and then. You know what I'm saying? That gonna be charred. <laughs> you you got a lot of our people that still cook like that in uh, Central South America, Mexico. And then you got people in the east that still cook that yeah, way. The, the, the east Indians be cooking like that still too. Yeah, they make that goop scoop. Yeah. <laughs> I got a, I got a script. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, Isaiah 34 1 it says come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people let the earth hear and all that is therein the world and all things that come forth of it for the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies he have utterly destroyed them he have delivered them to the slaughter and that's why all nations are getting involved in what's happening what's happening on the planet because the Lord is getting them all involved yeah. because truly in all actuality the Lord got a bone to pick with every nation Ooh. every nation uh, because you, if y'all didn't if y'all didn't uh, like somehow physically touch the children of Israel you uh you ate it with it by financially helping keep the children of Israel down yeah. or making money off of their low estate knowing that what you were selling them was destroying them you know, you you doing something, and the Lord gonna get you off all of that. Yeah, yeah. you further in the derision of our people. That's it. That's yeah. a, Matter of yeah. fact, let me read this to back you up. Uh, Isaiah thirteen and four, it says, "The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the of the kingdoms of nations mm. gathered together. The Lord of hosts, Yahweh, of hosts of armies, mustereth the hosts of the battle." Yeah. See, the Lord is getting them all involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right? All involved. And they ain't going to have no choice to get involved now that uh, the Israelis is targeting Iran now. Yeah. yeah. And then now that they're targeting Iran, now Russia got to get involved. Oh, yeah. Prophecy. Now China's involved. Right. Now North Korea, they sending troops over to Ukraine. Yeah. You see, the Lord is orchestrating it all. All for what? The controversy of Zion. Zion. Baby. Woo! Biden just gave Ukraine another 20 bill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and, then give, and then give the people of the Appalachians in North Carolina 750. Didn't get him nothing. They couldn't even get the 750. Yeah, they couldn't get the whole 750. They can't even get you know 750. Saying? You don't qualify. 750. That ain't shit, man. <laughs> see, that's how see the American people, it's gonna come to a point to where the people are going to say, you know what, we didn't had enough. And they're going to start running up on these FEMA uh, uh, like, uh, that they setting up. Right. You know what I'm saying? While there's people dying, and then they finding out that Biden just sent another 20 billion over here, but they can't do nothing for these people in the Appalachian. People are going to say, fuck that. And it's going to cause a, a domino effect of rebellion, sedition. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, what's the other insurrection? Yeah. It's gonna cause a domino effect to that, man. Yeah. And that, and Esau is the one that's gonna get cracking. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Jake don't give a damn, but these Edomites, that's actually in the know and see what their government is doing. They they didn't have their tax. All their, the the whole father line, the granddaddy, he was in World War One. His yeah, son yeah. was in World War Two. Yeah. Yeah. His sons was in you know went to. Kosovo and all these other wars, they got a, a, a family line of, 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 of military vets 
And they see that the government don't give two shits about them. They gonna buck up against this system, man. They already started too with their little groups they forming. Yeah. Ex parades, they gonna start buck bucking up. Man. They forming groups as we speak. Yeah. I got a precept. Quick Which one. is beautiful, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Lord of Hosts muster the host to the battle, of baby. The uh, you touch the apple of the Lord's eye. Hey, like in that movie Purge, when he told him, he's like, nah, these people ain't gonna kill nothing. Talking about Jake. He said, killing that comes from the heart. You gotta, you gotta have, you gotta, it gotta be something deeply rooted in you to, to be able to kill a motherfucker. And that's what these Edomites is gonna be feeling. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they like, they're like, man, they, they don't give a fuck, man. My yeah. grandfather was a World War, decorated World War, you know? Yeah. That, that Edomite that burnt himself when Trump was at his, is at his uh, in court, he set himself on fire, you know? But that's regarding towards the war they want to stop. But they, they, they tired of this shit. The ones that fighting for this country, they see the bullshit, <laughs> you know? You see that one Edomite, he was crying. <laughs> he was old as shit. <laughs> oh, the one I, my country, I ain't seen it. And he and he he tagged up. He got yeah, he all got, his pins and veteran like a mug. He was a know? high office general or something. And a racist. Yeah. Right. He, he don't see those uh, good days no more. Hey, setting on fire, that's a normal thing out in the Middle East. But they sit in the fire, they just blow their ass up. That's how they set they self on fire. They they get they make sure they getting other motherfuckers while setting they self on fire. Not like these weak ass Americans just setting they self on fire and then they just burn into a crisp and they you know on social media and shit. Yeah. Okay nigga, we forgot about you uh a couple weeks later. You know what I'm saying? A week later. We thought about you for three days. That's it. <laughs> you know, and, and, and you no more thought. Right. You know? Yeah. Like the motherfucker that, that strapped the bomb, he went up in there, he even blew 30, 40 motherfuckers up, man. Mm -hmm. You know? This is uh, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, yeah. even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. There we go, go back to that nuclear destruction. And all then the, it said the, the, the termination of the Heavenly Father. The, right. the, the, the determined, he did, he's determined this. This is what his counsel is yeah. from the heavens, and we seeing it play out on the earth. Yeah. Well, and that don't mean the entire earth is gonna be engulfed with the flames of fire, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand the prophecy. Mm -hmm. All of America. Yep. You know what I'm yep. saying? Yeah. Yeah, yep. I, I wanna go back to uh, Isaiah 34. Especially, bro, there's, there's never been uh, such a big fire ever that that would take place how, when America's on fire. Man. Well, ain't nothing, ain't no uh, Amazon fire, no fire at the, the the fire of Rome during Nero. This will be the first biggest fire, biggest bonfire ever. A whole three thousand by five thousand, you know, square mile land on fire. And not only is it going to be on fire, it's going to make the earth rock. The earthquake that's going to be felt around the entire planet Earth. Mm -hmm. All right, it's going to make the earth rock to and fro like a drunkard. You yep. know what I'm saying? Isaiah 24. Yeah. Uh, I, I got, and it's gonna cause a great noise. Yeah, it's gonna be like I got uh, more proof too that uh, that the uh, the whole earth ain't gonna be uh, on fire. This is the word lake. And they got Jesus and tacos. <laughs> Go ahead. This is the word lake on online entomline. It says a uh, body of water surrounded by land and and filling a depression or basin. It says, uh, pond, pool, lake, basin, tank, reservoir, hole, pit. Hey, pit land. Yeah. So, you know, it's a pit. It's a certain, you know, a uh, 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 section of land. You know, a hole, a pit, body of water, uh, pond, cistern. 
know, a basin. Yeah, see? Yeah. You know, so it's not it's not the whole world, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's it talks just about the America. lake. Yeah, lake, the lake of fire. Of fire. Really beautiful, bro. That was, hey, that's a solid point right there, bro. Uh -huh. And that definition, that's on point right there. Uh -huh. And we're here to tell you that because after that, the the because the, the earth is paradise, okay? Right, right. After the, the nuclear destruction, the Israelites is coming to take the, the kingdom. Right. Matter of fact, when we read in that second um Peter 3, it says that the heavens and the earth passed away with with the uh with a great noise. When it's, it's uh, the heavens and the earth pass away, is the rulership of Esau right. passing away. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And the Esau used America as his little tip of the spear to, to do what he wanted to do on the earth. He used take America over the earth. to take over the earth. You said like big corporation? Yeah, a, corpor a, cor a body. Yeah, like a big body corporation. Uh-huh. You know? This is uh, Revelation chapter 19, verse 2. It's, uh, for true and righteous are his judgments, for he have judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication. There we go. The great whore is what? America. That's the great whore. And America did what it said? Yep. It says, for he have judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication. Corrupted, Corrupted the, the earth. earth. Second Edges 15 tell us that wickedness exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Right. Well, that happened through America. Yep. Habakkuk hey. 2 and 15 tell you, woe unto him that have given uh, his, neighbor. his neighbor a drink. Yep. yep. America did that, man. America was let, America has let wickedness basically be displayed as if it's cool to do yeah. and you don't get no consequences for it. Yep. America has did that. You know? And now other countries literally are drinking of that, they drinking that wine. Yeah, that, that American uh, beer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Lord saying, the Lord, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand yeah. to make all, all the, the earth, earth drunken. Drunken, drunken. Yeah. 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 Yes. It says, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication and have avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And they, and again, they said, hallelujah. And her smoke rose up forever and ever. <laughs> there we go. And that's why we're virgins. We're considered virgins because we didn't do no fornication with uh with, uh, with the with, whore. With, with, with the whore. With the Babylon. Right. We ain't all into everything like these um, these fucking Americans are, man. Right. Yeah, the right. guys you know, that they worship. Going to the goddamn Dodger game, worshiping the goddamn Dodgers and shit. Yeah. You know, uh letting our women rule over us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh 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 you know all type of shit, man. So wicked shit. Whatever wicked shit that's in this place, man. We ain't we ain't dipping and dabbling in that shit, man. Yeah. We yeah. here on a Saturday, young men, you know, teaching the word, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Yep. And that's why I said the blood of this, the blood is gonna we're our blood, Lord willing if we the men, but their the elect's blood is gonna be avenged on this place. Right. And they're gonna all see the fire. All yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, yeah. all, all the ones that already all been Israel. already yeah. Yeah. gonna be avenged here. Yeah, all because of them. the scripture tell you what's that in uh is that numbers 35 oh yeah the land cannot be cleansed oh, that's unless that's oh, is that three? let's go to it go to yeah. it number 35 and 33 i think if i'm not mistaken yeah because the blood the follow me go ahead this is uh numbers chapter 35 verse 33 it says so you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are for blood, it defileth the land. Yeah. And, oh, the, and, and blood has been shed since since Esau stepped a foot over here. Dad was killing each other. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 You know See? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Scripture, yeah. Say, uh, scripture say, in her was found the blood of the saints. Yeah. yeah. You know, all the slaughtering you were done to the tribes, man. Yeah. That's that blood. The Lord is going to require that blood by your blood being shed. Yeah. 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 You know, you not, you devils ain't getting away. You know? You devils is not getting away, man. Right. You got a thousand years to be reincarnated, put to death, <laughs> reincarnated, put to death yeah. for a whole thousand years. Man. Right. Yeah. A thousand years plus. Your demonic eyes. It says, For blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Yeah. Yeah. So Esau's blood, the big way of how Esau's blood is going to be shed is. Clear destruction, man. That's right. Right? Damn, bro.
He done sold them shoes. Jay crazy, boy. He ain't got them shoes on no more. Is that the same Jay? That's the same dude. That's the same dude. Yeah, that is the same dude. Let's go. Uh, back in Revelation 19 and in, in, uh, 3, it says, and again, they said, hallelujah, and her smoke rose up forever and ever. And when you look up that word ever, uh, it's the Greek word there is uh, eon, eon, you know, it's for age. Because it ain't going to be uh, burning forever, you know, it's just going to be burning for a long time. A long time, yeah. yeah. Yep, because the desert animals, it's prophesied the desert yeah. animals going to be here. After after that, you know, after things kind of cooled down, I guess you would say. But uh, uh, let's go back. Let's jump back. Let's jump back. And then uh, just go to War Me. Who will say me? No, no. Read down, but go into when you, War Me, then we'll close it right there. It's building up to it, like right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yes, right. It should be coming up. Back in Second Edges, chapter 16, verse 13. For strong is his right hand that beateth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. There we go right there. And that's how we know. That's the indicator that we ain't talking about no arrow that comes from a Native American's boat. No, this is the nuclear and intercontinental ballistic missiles that could go from continent to continent. And these missiles got a range. Esau didn't already explained it. These missiles got a range of 5,000 Five thousand miles plus, you know. So that that's 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 more than enough distance to get from a continent to a continent. I think I, think, I believe they got a missile called Satan, yep. Satan one or Satan, Satan two. two. Yep, Satan two. Adversary number two. Yeah, you're gonna get shit right on Satan too. <laughs> and they're gonna be going from the ends of the world because that's missiles true. gonna be going to a certain certain other. Israel gonna get hit with missiles. The Lord gonna clean that land up. Oh, yeah. I can see how certain places in Europe could could possibly be hit yeah, because America, America gonna send missiles off too. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Cause they gonna see missiles coming and it's gonna be a whole. They show you that in the movie, man. Oh, yeah. uh, what, what movie was that? Uh, Terminator Three. Yeah. Yeah. They show you it in that one. They show you it in uh, the show One Hundred. The uh, like the 100. first episode, dude talking to his daughter, and uh, this was good. Show. He's in space. He's in space watching the whole thing. And then he see the missiles fly. And then once they fly to where his where his daughter was, yeah. the uh you hear nothing but static on the on the phone. Yeah. And he knew his daughter was through. That uh yeah. that tequila commercial too. Yeah. Remember he was dancing. Oh in the yeah, bar, yeah, right. And then the, the yeah. missiles were shot off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 2012. Man, and when you watch that movie Oppenheimer, because I was I peeped the prayer like a couple weeks back, the Heavenly Father was giving this goddamn devil. They had they had like uh uh like I, I know in writing when you writing lyrics it's called writer's block, but they was having blocks, and the Heavenly Father was giving that goddamn devil visions of what the hell, what math works. He was giving him the schematics. Yeah. 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 And then he'd just why. be sitting there and I got it. That's right. That's why. Uh, Isaiah 54 is written. Yeah. Behold, I have created the the, the, uh, the smith that blew up the coals in the fire. Yeah. You know? That's yeah. that uh, al algebra that the apostles was. Uh, uh, yeah, the algebra. Yeah, if you look up that word algebra, yep. when you find out what it means. Yeah, when you. when you um... No, no, just go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Yeah. Back in 2 Ezra, chapter 16, verse 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Mm -hmm. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. Mm -hmm. And now we, it's already, these things are starting. It's already started, it's here. You know, let's go out. Woe is me! Woe is me! Who would deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning of famine and great death. Uh -huh. The beginning of wars. And the power shall stand in fear. Uh -huh. The beginning of evils. And what shall I do when these evils shall come? There we go right there. 
bad times. Man. <laughs> Crazy, man. That probably, man, it's just words on the book, but when you actually tie it to what we're seeing today, man, it's gonna get it's gonna get nuts out here. Right. Ain't gonna be the way society is being ran and people just driving down the street. I gotta go to stop at Rite Aid. All this gonna stop, man. Right. Yeah. People gonna be scavenging around. You know what I'm saying? People gonna be killing each other, getting hauled off to concentration camps. Government then turned totally to something that you ain't never seen before. Yeah. And then wars happen at the same time. Yeah. And then you see nuclear missiles coming. Yeah. Esau is forcing a microchip. Pestilence. Pestilence. Lee. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Really created creatures, apparitions. Yeah. 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 Like, more more than what we can even explain <laughs> right now in detail, man. Yeah, so know, much stuff. In detail, you know, when we, get when we see the detail of things, that, you know, that's when people really going to start shitting on themselves, man. Because yeah. the scriptures say a man shall become be as a woman. Oh, yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? So what is the woman going to be as? You know? Yep, that's why I said, woe is me, woe is me who would deliver me in those days. And we was going through the Lord, the Lord going to deliver his elect, you know? So, y'all brothers got any more priests or anything? No, I just had that saying. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't, you want, yeah, because you brother said you want to close it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. So, yeah, man, with that, man, that concludes to, uh, today's street uh, speaking. And we pray through the spirit and power. Y'all brought your shot that was edifying to your brothers and sisters out there. But we're going to close it out by giving all praises to the creator of the heavens and the earth. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Come on, say the elder apostles. Shalom. Shalom. I know they. I know they out there battling. They've been battling.